in the Hebrew grammar. And um, it's a nice way to um, uh, solidify our reading skills and also to uh, bring some meaning into the, into the class. In other words, to actually understand uh, some of the words that we're reciting. So um, in this case, we're looking from a couple of short verses from the book of Numbers. Um, and in the way of an introduction, uh, the book of Numbers starts with some instructions to the different families in the, in, in the Levite tribes. And the Levites were responsible for uh, putting together and taking apart the portable sanctuary in the desert. And um, one of the first commands in the book of Numbers is to take a census or a head count of each family of Levites uh, to understand just how many were available to serve and also to fight if that was necessary. Let me bring in another guest. So we have then um, an opportunity to learn some vocabulary. And Carlos, I'm going to ask for your help in this part of the lesson. We have some vocabulary okay. words in red. And our, our job, Carlos, is to read those words for us and then translate them into English and then find those words for us in the verse. So your first, your first job, brother, is to, to read for us the vocabulary words in red. Okay, so the first one is Daber. Daber, very nice to speak. And the second one, Amar. Very nice, Amar, to say. Maria, if you could kindly mute your audio, there's a little bit of background that we could eliminate. Thank you. So let's take a look at Daber to speak. Can we find in our verse, Carlos, an instance of Daber? Yeah, if, uh, yeah, Daber. Where exactly do you see it, brother? Ah, uh, up there, yeah. In the, in the first line, right? Yeah, in the first one. And which word? The first word, second word? Ah, uh, the second, the second word. Oh, okay. Um, actually, maybe this yellow is give, giving us some confusion. Let me, let me eliminate the color. Maybe that'll make it clearer. Um, I don't know if I can do that on the fly right now. Let me see if I can. This is all one word. Let me just let me just cut to the chase. This is all one word, brother. That's the first word where Daber is inside of the first yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Could you read could you read that word for us? Yeah. Very nice. Daber. Okay. Very good. Let's take a, a look at the next vocabulary word. Amar. Can we find an instance of Amar, Carlos? Aleph yeah. and Reish. Yes. In the second one? Or All right. Yeah, no, in the first verse still. Can we find Amar up above in our first verse? The Amor. Very nice. Le Mor. So this, this is a game we play in order to uh, recognize the Hebrew letters, even those letters that we haven't yet learned, um, by simply noticing the, the patterns and noticing the shapes of the letters, and then finding them, discovering them, sometimes within larger words. And this has many benefits for us. At first, um, makes us sharp in recognizing new letters. And secondly, it makes us aware that these uh, vocabulary words are function, functioning as roots um, or shorshim. Uh, the shoresh, the Hebrew shoresh is a, is a, a root, a three-letter combination that appears 
in a variety of different ways um, to expand uh, meanings and, and, and have a variety of different meanings. So in, in this case, we have Aleph Mem Resh Amar uh, with the addition of a, another letter in front of it and it becomes, as Carlos said, Lemur. And with Daber, our first vocabulary word, Dalet Bet Resh, we find that Dalet Bet Resh within our first word, Vagi Daber. So that's basically the detective work we do. And then as your reading skills become stronger, you can enjoy actually reading the verse for us. And Carlos, would you be kind enough to read this verse for yeah. us today? Ah, uh, read? Yeah, uh, whenever, you're, whenever you're ready, yeah. Ah, oh, okay. So, Vaya da Ver. And this yeah, is a, okay. This is a form of the name of God. Um, I say in prayer or in study, I would say Adonai. Or um, Yahweh, right? Or, or Yahweh, or Yahweh, right. Some say Yahweh. Mm -hmm. Whatever you're comfortable with. Sometimes I say Hashem, which just means the name. That's a Jewish tradition of protecting God's name when we're not in prayer or or in the synagogue. We say Hashem, which is not is not related to this pronunciation at all. It's just Hashem. But but uh, you could say Yahweh. You could say um, Yehovah. Whatever you're comfortable with, Carlos. Vayita Bear, continue. Yahweh El Moshe. Nice, okay. Ve El Aharon. Nice. Le Amor. Le Mor. We don't have to. Very nice. And I'll give you the. And Maria, could you kindly give us the translation? Yeah. Um. God or GD spoke to Moses and Aaron saying. Very nice. Let's do the same exercise um, with the second verse. Perhaps you could lead us in, in uh, the vocabulary words and the translations of the second verse. Are you with me, Joseph? Yes. We'd, we'd be grateful if you would lead us in the, in the, the vocabulary words and the translations <coughs> of the second verse. Okay. The vocabulary word for count is nasha. Very nice. I think I actually need to correct something here. Bear with me for a second. Um, it's NASA. That's my mistake. My mistake. NASA. NASA. Nice. Next. Rosh for head. Good. Ben for sun. Good. Mishneta for family. That's a, a pay. Mishpecha. Mishpecha for family. Good. Av for father. Very nice. We've uh, run a little short on time, so let us just enjoy uh, listening to Joseph recite the Numbers chapter 4, verse 2 for us, and then we'll wish each other a good night. Kindly, Joseph, if you would recite for us. Um, Nas. Yes, Nasa. It's, Nas. It's missing. It's missing a vowel. I'm sorry. There you go. Nasa. Et. 
את ראש בני כהת. נייס. מתוך בני. Yes. Uh, there's I'm another. T- oh, there's more. Okay. Uh, let me continue. Right. Levi. Nice. Don't worry about these two dots. Levi. Right. Lemish. Pechotam. Beautiful. Levit. Evotam. Nice. Levit Avotam. Maria, would you like to give us the English translation? Okay. Um, take the sum of the sons of Kohath from among the sons of Levi by their families, by their father's houses. Very nice. Well done, everybody. So this is the, the work we do on the verses together, and there's a lot of different uh, approaches we can take to it. Uh, Lawi, congratulations on getting through Zion and, and fully understanding the open and, and closed syllables. Um, um, again, uh, Sonia, welcome. Uh, we're so happy to have you with us, and congratulations on your first three Hebrew letters and two vowels.